What's up, Space Academy? Uh, it's the nice boy Taco here, and we got a special interview today. We got the Santon villain, the Fortnite gamer, the vamp, the man, the legend. <laughs> we got Jay Katana in the building. Let's yeah, get a round of applause. Yes, and introduce who, who, who are you me? here with? Oh, this is my big bro Kai. You know, Yo, what's he's up, my brother, what's up? not blood brother. But he's my blood brother. Like y'all close. Yeah. Uh, let's get a round of applause for Kai as well. So I wanted to start off with the early influence uh, mm. or early life. Let's start there. What are you comfortable speaking on? I uh, like when did I start making music and all of that. Yeah, if that's what you're comfortable starting with. I bro, I started making music in like um, grade eight. Grade eight. With like my boy. He actually like forced me to record because like he paid for a studio session and like when he got there at the studio session like he didn't have everything in order and stuff so like to stall time he was like yo hop on this beat and like record well like i write lyrics down and stuff i was like ah oh, fuck bro and then i did it and then obviously um kyle was like in my trick at the time okay. so like yeah. i'd always send him my music and whatever and like people were fucking with it, but like I knew that it was trash, you know. But then I went on and like people were fucking with it. Then I started like making music as a troll, bro. Like the stuff I was saying were like fucking grannies. Nah, I can still see some of that influence. Like you know? <laughs> when I heard, when I hear Jay Katana track, bro, I'm almost desensitized to it a bit. <laughs> like I know this man's about to say some wild stuff. Yeah. So I don't even know. pay it too much mind. After like the third or fourth listen, I'm like, damn, did this man just say what I think he just said? <laughs> That's crazy. Yeah, bro. So like, as it went on, bro, like people fucked with it, bro, and like I learned I could actually like make money off music and stuff like that, and like people took me seriously, bro. And, like to this day, I like people see me more serious than I take music, you know. So yeah, and it's like, mm, great ten. That's like when music really started kicking, you know, yeah. and people started fucking with me. I was like, all right, let me do this, bro, you know. Because, like, I didn't, I wasn't really interested in school, bro. Like, at school, I'd be asleep every morning, bro. Because, like, I wake up at, like, 12 a.m., bro. And, like, waking up for school was, like, an issue all the time. Oh, you're like a night person. Yeah. You got a real vamp in the building. Yeah. <laughs> nah, I was made for this lifestyle. <laughs> yeah, bro. So, like, school, like, bro, I couldn't study, bro. Like, I could be alone. In a room with the book, bro, it's like, ah. It's just crazy. wasn't for you. Yeah, bro. So now always in trouble also. Is it? <laughs> yeah. Bit of a troublemaker. We're in the same high school, so I yeah. was obviously, like, for, when he came to the school, I was, like, in matric, so. Yeah. Bro, since then, I was, I saw, like, nah, this nigga's not gonna make, like, he's not gonna go, like, to Harvard and be a professor. Oh, yeah, 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 like, you knew he wasn't nah. the academic type. But, like, I always saw, like, bro, he was a kid, like, this grade 8 kid comes to school, like, with a Louis Vuitton duffel bag. <laughs> oh, so you've always been into the fashion show? Yeah. Like, he came always, to school bro. with the Louis V duffel, and I was like... Bear in mind, like, we basically own the school. You know how it is, like, when you're in matric, it's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, it's our yeah. school. And if you're so, the older brother, you, like, pay the way yeah. for him. Like, he has it a bit easier. Yeah, so now yeah. I see him, I'm like, I, my little bro came through with the, the Louis V duffel. <laughs> I was like, yo, I, now this kid has something. And back then already, I was like, already like, yo, I'm making music, like, recording on my phone. That time we were like, what? Making music on your phone, like, what the fuck? How does that shit even sound? Yeah. Making beats on his phone, like... So, since then, I already saw, like, nah. You kind of destined to be where he is right yeah. now, so... And he been telling us, he said, and I've been that nigga since I was watching Cool Cats. Yeah. Exactly, exactly. He exactly, really, bro. really has been. Okay. So that's always just been the way you've portrayed yeah. yourself? Or the yeah, way you've carried bro. yourself, let me say. Yeah, I always wanted to be, like... Just some cool nigga, bro. Yeah, but like, shit. yeah, I wanted to be a like a professional gamer, bro. 
for Fortnite. You know? Yeah, I see you drop hella Fortnite references. Are you still playing Fortnite? Yeah, till this day. Bro, playing Fortnite bro. in the Balenci store. Yeah, till this day, bro. <laughs> uh, can you? So you still play? Yeah, bro. Do you got the John Wick skin? Because I know you also got like a lot of John Wick references, yeah. like the Twitter handle is Katana yeah. Wick. Nah, John Wick is my favorite movie, bro. Like, oh, okay. I watched every John Wick, bro. Like, <laughs> that's your favorite you, franchise, bro. bro. Every John Wick, I watched like five times, bro. John Wick one, two, three, yeah. John Wick, yeah. Now we gotta bro. get the Katana Keanu Reeves meet up, bro. bro. <laughs> that would be too crazy. You. No In a that music would be too video, crazy. it's crazy, yeah. over, bro. But like, that new John Wick, bro. Ah, a peep made me sad, bro. Is it? I won't spoil it, bro, but... Yeah, yeah, yeah. You just weren't satisfied. Yo, I'm sad, bro. Uh, Peep, I'm another sad. movie that you're interested in, or that I see you draw reference from, is uh, Scarface. Mm. And I, we see that in the latest album, The World yeah. Is Yours. That's a Scarface reference, yeah. right? Can you speak to me a bit about that? Uh, Scarface is like, actually, I read it like number one. My favorite movie, bro. Like, oh, that's top. That's yeah. number one for you. Yeah. Uh, you heard it here first. You know? So, like, bro... Scarface is so cool, bro. If I wasn't rapping, like I'd be Scarface, bro. Yeah, you don't mm. live that type of lifestyle. Yeah, bro. you know, like a big mafia or some shit, bro. Yeah, nah, but shout out to the rap game, bro. Yeah, but <laughs> like the, shit legal. the album wasn't even named from like the movie, bro. It was because like AK was really my favorite rapper, bro. I peeped that. So like I when he died, used to, like AKA the less R.I.P. Super Mega. Before we yeah, keep going, yeah, but AKA. Case, the Les and Nasty C, I know those were like some yeah, early influences. You were, yeah. I actually met the Les, bro. Like, my first song, bro. Like, my first song, like, nobody ever heard that song. But, like, the Les heard that song, bro. Shout out the Les. Yeah. Him, aka Casper, around that 2015 era, they had the, they had me in a chokehold. Yeah, I'm sure most of the South African hip hop was the same, but yeah, they had me in a chokehold. Yeah, no care, bro. So, like, basically, the album was named after. The world is yours, the song by AK. Oh, bro. okay. Yeah, so it's like paying homage to him, bro, and like my favorite movie, bro. Oh, so it was like a, almost like a double entendre. Yeah. Of, and like there's a message. It's changing the context. Nah, no, that's fine. In the album, bro, like you can hear it's like it has to do with the world is yours, you know, like every song has like that type of feeling. Yeah, you know, like, like boss nigga you know, energy type. Yeah, you know, boss level, bro, yeah, yeah, you know. Yeah. Nah, yeah. this, you can feel the confidence. Yeah, nah, that's something you know that that I could see, or you could you can experience it. Mm. Like you gotta check it out. I think it's number four right now on the South African charts, right? Where? Uh, the world is yours. Yeah. Last I checked, it was number four. After this interview, go bump it. We wanna get it back up again. Yeah. Because I know you did touch number one at some point. Yeah, I bro. It and and it's crazy. We only found out like two weeks after we yeah, went number one in like Hawaii, Thailand. Uh, oh, like for 14, real? 14 countries. Yeah, bro, yeah. it's like crazy. Like, You know what's crazy about that? You're independent as well, right? Yeah. yeah. It actually brings me back uh, to something i seen on Noisy, Brent Fayaz, because mm. he's indie as well. So when he was setting up his tour, he used the SoundCloud analytics, the metrics there to see where he had fans. And then he mm. set his tour up that way so that he knew for sure he's going to bring money in. Yeah. And I know you're going on tour soon. Yeah, bro. So soon. can you tell us a bit about the tour? I... Bro, so basically, I done. We're planning to go, obviously, Joburg. But, like, Joburg, we trying to do, like, the biggest party, bro. Like, the biggest hip hop mansion party, you know. Yeah. Only underground. No piano, bro, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know you mm. saw on the concept uh, 38 interview with Nakora. Shout out Nakora, by the way. Yeah. You said, when you do perform live, you want your audience to be there. You need the rages there. You need yeah. the vamps yeah. to be out there. Like, like you want to see what's going on. Most parties that you go to now, bro, it's like, it seems like it's a hip-hop event, bro. But like, when you get there, boom, tick, 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 like, hey, what? Bro, and I don't hate on Amo Piano, because, hey, you know, like, but yeah, nah, it's not my, I'm not putting it on Oaks if you, if you got me there. You know what I'm saying, bro. Uh, so, yeah. Are there any other music influences from, like, early childhood, like, stuff your rents might have played? My rents? Yeah. Uh, Nah, I really fucked with Lil Wayne, bro. Oh, okay. Lil Wayne, Drake. Nah, Fetty YMC, Boy we also Jim. have the game in a headlock. Fetty Boy Jim, bro. Oh, okay, we're taking, it, we're taking it local. Oh, Shout, out Fetty. Gym, Shout, Shout, out, Shout, Shout out Fetty Boy Jim, bro. Shout out Fetty. Let's have acid, bro. Like, I still listen. Nah, Treehouse Worldwide. Yeah, I still listen to Let's have acid till this day, bro. And I peep, you have the song with, is it Timothy? 
Yeah. The, the Tabo acid. Yeah. Yeah, that, that shit's hard. Yeah, we'll bump he, that as well. He really my, like, my inspiration, bro. Like, you know. Even till this day, bro, like, I hit him up. Like, when I have nothing to say on a song, bro, you know, like, when I have inspiration and stuff, like, I always speak to him, bro. Mm. Okay. Mm. Uh, so, with the, I actually missed that old uh, Treehouse era. Like, oh, I'm with bro. some of the songs, like, Southside, Bloods. Like, it's not on SoundCloud anymore, bro. Yeah. I just don't know how to Classic. get back to listening to that. Bro. Those guys were also going crazy with their performances like I think they pioneered the Skr Skr era yeah, and I think sure. you almost pioneering the I don't know if you want to be associated with it the La Twizy era is that I the mean, type of people you want to see at the, mean, at the shows I mean bro at the end of the day bro like them themselves they don't call themselves like La, La Twizzies you yeah. know they just young niggas swagging Doing bro thing, yeah. Yeah. it's know? almost like a label given by the outside yeah so uh, I fuck with them, bro. You know, they support me, bro. They feed me. They stream my music, bro. So, no, for sure. So, what other them, places are you going to hit for the tour? Oh, um, besides Joburg. I really want to do Botswana, bro. Botswana? Like, Botswana. Shout out Botswana. Like, when yeah, I check. Love to Botswana, yeah, when bro. we check the stats, bro, like Botswana. They were going crazy for yeah. you. Yeah. Botswana. I actually had a friend from Bots that yeah. I made in uni. He was doing music as well and I could tell from his energy that the music scene there also goes crazy. Yeah, it does. He used to listen really to, does, I think bro. it was called Trapville. Yeah. I think they might have broken up. I don't know if you know about that group from but I think I heard of it, bro. Yo, they had some crazy shit. Mm. They had some song, I think it was called Chicken. Some dumb like Chicken Chicken, bro. That shit was hard, though. I can't <laughs> remember the tape, bro. Ish, you're unlocking memories, that's the thing. And yeah. I wasn't prepared for this conversation, but yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah. So, bots, that's somewhere you want to hit? Um... Definitely Cape Town. Yeah. Cape Town for sure. Durban. Uh, and hopefully the big one. The yeah. States, of course. Oh, yeah. you want to do a States tour as well? Yeah, yeah. bro. Can it, like, North, I think it's North America. Yeah. yeah. Like, bro, they they really tapped in, bro. Yeah. Oh, no, shout out. North America's really tapped in and UK, bro. I could see that the fan base is crazy because well, my favorite song from the album was... Austin Powers mm. with oh. uh, Southside Silhouette. Southside, That's yeah. his favorite song. Oh, for real? Nah, shout out. We locked in then. But yo, he, the way he flowed on that. <sighs> yeah, Southside's crazy, bro. Yeah, shout, shout out, out Southside. Southside. Uh, you tapped in with anyone else from the States? Uh, a lot, like, bro, I'm tapped in like, with a lot of people, bro. But like, right now I'm trying to keep it like low key, bro. Oh, you're like, just trying to move in silence? Yeah. Uh, we're bro. not getting a name drop. You know? But like, I'm working with. Like a lot of American prods, bro. Especially like we have like twelve songs, bro. Oh, like for more no. prod filthy. Oh, filthy. Yeah, wake oh. up filthy. Katana X filthy coming yeah. soon. Now nah, we yeah, feeding the streets sure, of yeah, this coming one. soon, coming soon. So, yeah, bro. Now nah, that is crazy. Shout out, bro. There's like a lot of American prods that I've been working with, been speaking to, you know. Nah, that's. That's crazy. Like, I'm glad to see the motion. Like, I really want to see our scene. Like, yeah, because I'm trying to, like, obviously, bro, right now I'm trying to grow. Yeah, go overseas, worldwide. bro, you know. Because I don't know, bro. I can't say, like, South Africa is lame, bro, because that's, like, my. This is where I'm Show born, them, yeah. bro. Like, they really support me, bro. So, like, I just hope that one day, bro, like, I can grow hip hop again, you know. Let's say rap. Yeah. No, nah, that's far. I'd actually like to see that. Get yeah, bro, that's why we can get to the top. You that's know? why with the tour, bro, it's not even like really to make money or like boost myself, bro. It's like just for more influence. Yeah, yeah more influence, bro. Bring like yeah, hip hop back to SA. Cause once people see like these crazy performances, like Tree Outside, you know, yeah, then they're like, yo, what the fuck, bro? That you shit know? was great. I, did, are you tapped into the Boys of the Summer? Have you seen those vlogs on YouTube? Yo. Bro, I was literally rewatching it like how many days ago? Like two days ago, nah, three days was crazy ago, bro. When it was going out, yeah, like, yo, it's it's really a Boys almost a like a a moment. Bro. Yeah, you had to be bro. there. You had to For be sure, there. It's crazy. You did, you did, yo. Yeah. Do you have any work with some local gents that we might know of that you can name drop, even if mm. it's just your boys? Right now, bro. Features, I don't know, I haven't re really been doing features with, like, local artists, bro. Oh, yeah, you're trying to build the brand a bit more? No, not really, bro. It's just, like, uh, there's not really artists 
that I can work with, like you know, with my sound, bro. Because oh, yeah, it's yeah, like yeah. really different. Yeah. How would you describe it? My sound. Yeah. Mm. Because <laughs> something know, I was bro. thinking of, I saw it. It wasn't. It was for Destroy Lonely, but someone said it sounds like avant-garde trap, and I was like, Dude, that shit bro, sounds. That's that's a. It kind of sounds like what JB making. Yeah. yeah. I don't know, bro. Like, I don't know what to call it. But, like, right now, bro, I'll be doing, like, some R&B shit. But I like working with... I see you taking it a bit slower. Yeah, I like working with, like, female singers, bro. Like, yeah, yeah. you know, trying to do some shit like that. But, like, next job, bro. Like, the album was really just what we've been working on. Yeah. But, like, watered down, bro, because I didn't want it to be something that's, like, too crazy and then people are like yo what the fuck is this oh, you wanted you know? to like ease them into it yeah. yeah so like that's what we doing right now bro like next jobs bro is gonna be crazy it's, uh, it's exciting beginning. to see yeah only in the beginning for real uh please say that again I said it's only the beginning oh yeah no nah, definitely I like, can definitely see this going as like a worldwide act. Yeah, yeah. for sure. Bro. You take any influence from like I know you, you stated previously your favorite rapper is Destroy Lonely. Yeah. Mm. Could you speak a bit about that? My favorite rapper. I mean, Lonely is in there, bro. But like I think my favorite rapper right now. I mean, he's been my favorite, bro. I won't cap Nav. I love. Yo, Nav. shout out the Brown Boy. Bro, I love Nav. He's bro. self-titled. Album was crazy. And I, a lot of people hate on the Metro Boomin Perfect mm. Diamond. Yeah. That was messing with me. That's, that, that's the greatest album in history. Literally. Bro. Shout out to the Brown bro. Boy. Could we, you, would you want to see a Nav Katana feature? Definitely. Yo. Nah, Definitely. I would love to do that. That was also another like, period of in its own. You were not. Bro, that Nav. definitely sounds so fucking insane. Bro, Nav is really him, bro. Mm. And he's that's independent true. as well now, right? I'm not sure. Isn't he signed to EXO, bro? Yeah, I don't know XO, if he... Yeah. Did he not get dropped or... Don't go. Nah, 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 nah. He's still with He's still with EXO. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, uh, But I know you independent, right? Yeah, bro. Right now, I mean... I don't... Like, I got... a lot deals, bro. Like, you know, labels. So you got the line lineups there? Yeah, bro. But, like... You know, I'm never... I'm trying to make racks on my own, bro. You yeah. Know? Be my own man, bro. Like, I don't want to be signed to someone get shoved you know yeah no nah, i feel you so you so, got a good yeah. team behind you then yeah bro, I shout mean, out the team yeah shout out the team because they make that possible yeah and if you gents are like blood brothers as well then you can keep it locked in yeah, yeah. bro i mean Family my, my ties. team Family ties, yeah my team bro is really like my friends you know like yeah all of my friends have a role in my career bro like whether they do like shooting visuals djing you wanna you know, shout anyone out? Like, yeah, shout out, to... shout out, bro, shout out to Visa. That's my brother, bro. What does he no do? Cap. Your photographer. Bro, he oh. does everything, bro. Oh, okay. He really does everything, but like, he prods. Like, he's my engineer. When Carl's not there, like, he DJs for me. You know, bro. Like, man, that nigga really grew up together, bro. You know, you're supposed to be here, but like, he couldn't come, bro. But like. That's my nigga for life, bro. Uh, hopefully next one. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. Shout out, bro. Shout out, bro. Uh, I see something that you were doing, like, recently is the graffiti stuff. Are you into graffiti or is that just for the... Nah, album? it's really for the rollout, bro. Oh, yeah. You know. It's kind of similar to the If Looks Could Kill one as well. Yeah. Um, if did the, they did tags. Mm, so yeah, yeah so that, that was crazy. Did you take inspiration bro. from that or was it a coincidence? Nah, not really, bro. Really... We started like other rollouts from other artists, bro. Like, you saw Cardi, not Cardi did that win, bro. Like way before a lot of Red even dropped, bro. You know, yeah. you know, it was like this. It brings like a cult feeling, bro. Like you see it on the ones, like yo. Oh yeah, you yeah, know yeah. what I'm saying. It's almost like coming, yeah. you're connecting via the internet. Yeah. So yeah, bro. And that's the type of fan base you have as well, like. Yeah. They be going crazy for Yo, you. Yo, bro, I love my fans so much, bro. As much as they think I hate them, but, like, I keep lying, bro. But, like, I really love them, bro. Yeah. I see you also, I think it was on Friday, mm -hmm. you previewed some tracks. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, it might have been Friday, but the second one was uh, Kara Kara re Rework. Yeah. How's that? What's, what's going on with that? Is that for the next album? Or is that just a... Mm. It might be on the deluxe, bro. Okay. 
if we get the sample cleared, you know. Yeah. Bro, fuck with KO. Did you get, get samples cleared for like half, half and half? Sorry, I'm so like. Yeah, we did. Oh, that is so crazy. Yeah, because like, I loved what you did on that half and half joint. Run Josie. And run Josie yeah. as well. Yeah. Now you're killing that. Yeah, shout out, bro. You see, bro, that tape like it's really just paying respect to everyone. Bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, before we take over. Yeah, nah. I'm also very appreciative of uh, Cardi before he went into the whole lot of red thing. So when he was still like just self-titled era, basically. Yeah. And like, that's my favorite. That's my favorite. Yeah, that's my favorite Cardi album. Like I miss it a whole mean, lot of red as well, but that I one's top for me. It. I don't know. I think I was happy on that time. Mine's Dilet. Dilet. Best album ever. I what, what's like, yours? I said a whole lot of red. Whole lot of red. Yeah. yeah. I can definitely lot of see red it. is up there for me. Self-titled was like changed music, bro. That's yeah. why yeah. we were like always be seen as you. It's that album. But a whole lot of red, bro. Again, like it changed music, music again, yeah. bro. Yeah. But you I feel like saying? every album. He dropped kind of down there because yeah, even yeah, Dilet, yeah. Jay, so, it came with a more like punky, mm. ragey sound. Yeah, before and I know you into the, the punk radio. movement as well. Mm. You'd be rocking the Vivian Westwood. <laughs> uh, I mean, I used to, bro, but now it's like Cody, I won't lie. Oh, for real? Yeah. What are you into now? What's the fashion looking like these days? Valency, you know, Vermins, like Rick Owen. Yeah, I know mm. you be up late night watching the Rick Owens interviews. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Nah, that's fine. Yeah, bro. So, like, I always wanted to be a model as well, bro. Oh, for real? Mm. I mean, I'm shy, bro. Like, I'm really shy, bro. I don't talk a lot, you know. But, like, when it's time to, I have to, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, like, if I was a model, bro, I'm going to have to talk. You just... Do your thing. Yeah, you're a star, bro, but you don't do talking, you yeah. know what I'm saying? I yeah. don't think it's out of your realm. Yeah. I mean, the way you want to move is worldwide, so yeah, I think it's very possible for you too because you're seeing a lot more rappers like Cardi. Yeah, you've been seeing him in the off white shows that Virgil was doing a couple of years ago. Yeah. RIP Virgil and the yeah, leaks, yeah, 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 yeah. Hard Rock beat he Hard Rock was at the Gavanchi one, right? Yeah, Matt, yeah. shout out Matthew Williams putting yeah, him on that. You tapped sure. in with Hard Rock, Hard Rock, yeah, uh, just his music, not yeah. me personally. You want nah, shout out Hard Rock, I think he's bro. top two for me, yeah, yeah, yeah top two for real, bro. I rock really am. No, definitely. Uh, would you see yourself at like Paris Fashion Week? Is that something you want to do? Definitely, in the bro. Sure. In the future, yeah, bro. You know, I'm trying to grow as an artist, bro. So, yeah. Yeah, I see you mentioned uh, Alix, and I know they're also a bit associated with Ian Connor. Mm. Is he also one of your fashion influences? Because I think I've seen you say something about him, but. About Ian? Nah. Yeah. But like definitely, bro. Like Ian really played a big role in changing fashion, yeah, bro. Yeah, definitely. With the Vans, I'm still, bro. I was telling Kyle the other day. I'm trying to get my hands on Revenge Storms, bro. Yeah, you're still trying bro. to get those. Yeah. I need Revenge Storms, bro. Like Ian really a good. Nah, shout out. Yeah. A peep, apparently he was trying to do like his own sicko label type thing. I don't know if it's speculation, but that would have been quite I, interesting to see. I think. He has it already, bro. Yeah. Is it? Yeah. I think he's trying to get a hard rock. Yeah, that's what I know. Southside and yeah, Rolling Tracks. Yeah, Southside. Yeah, Rolling Tracks. Rolling Tracks is also hard as hell. Uh, lifeless yeah, Garments, too. Yeah, Lifeless oh, Garments. Oh, Lifeless Garments well. as well. Yeah. Were you into the uh, the plug movement, like uh, Slay World and that? Yeah. Because I see some of the influence from, like, Can Can and... <laughs> nah. Could you speak on some of those artists that you might have, like, even if you just fucked with them? Bro, that, that's really where, like... When I started, people started fucking with my music, bro. Yeah. And I used to listen to Slay World like every day, bro. Nah, shut up. You know, trying to get my hands on Can Can preset, Summer's preset. Yo, shout bro, out Summer's. Bro. He goes crazy. I can no, also see God. some of the versatility that yeah. you might be going for because he know? does some of the R&B. Yeah. The plug and beat, sorry. Summer's also played a big role, bro, like in the artist that I am today, bro. For real. Like, like I use these preset, bro. I was recording on my phone till like last year, bro. I won't, I won't even okay, care. Yeah, Most of the songs that like people fuck with, like it's a hit, bro. It was like recorded on my phone, bro. For real, I don't lie. What, which songs were these? Mm, John Wick, Ace. Ace is crazy. Aish. Mm, bro, I'd say like eighty percent of my songs are recorded on your phone. Yeah, Sandy but. Villain. 
Yeah. Oh, shout out Sanson Villain. <laughs> oh I saw God, you said you don't want to be known as the Sanson boy no more. You said that shit was corny. Ah, man. <laughs> the name still sticks, bro. Yeah. Mm, so you also the Sanson yeah. Villain? Yeah. It's nah, Vendor Man now. Vendor, Vendor Man Katana. Yeah. Shout out. All right, we're going to move to a quick ad break and then we'll keep going. Oh. All right. Yo, what a dude space yeah, academy. Sir. This ad is proudly brought to you by Green Label yeah, SA. SA. If you're trying to smoke on that premium gas, you know what I'm saying? That loud pack. Good gas, good gas. Any outdoor, indoor tunnel, make sure to hit the QR code on the bottom left of the screen. Bottom left, bottom left. Yes, sir. And if you want to get the full experience, make sure you go to the Green Label Lounge at 258 Chris Hochart Street. Uh Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Big, big shout out to Green Label. Shout out to Green Label. Let's go. All right, we back Space Academy. And before the break, we're talking about summers. I wanted to know where well, you tapped into autumn from Slay as well. Yeah, the whole Slay, bro. But Isaiah's the best. Yo, I love Isaiah TG Isaiah, stuff, bro. Isaiah's the greatest artist to ever exist. Bro. And I, I could understand why you say that. Like, if you know, you know. But if Isaiah you know, go you crazy. Know, bro. If you know, you know for real. Hey, bro, there was this like whole album that leaked like last week, bro. Oh, I wasn't tapped into that. Crazy, bro. is it? it Jay crazy, actually made bro. me fuck with Isaiah. He was like, "Bro, Isaiah's the best." Like, cause I I love Reno, bro. Like, yeah, no, yo, he's him. He's the greatest for yeah. me. And I, Jay was like, "Bro, Isaiah's the one." Like, I always listen to Omi, but it wasn't like how I would listen to Summers, yeah. if that makes sense. I would nah. just be like, "Oh, nah, this is dope." But like, Jay actually tapped me in, and then I realized, like, yo. This nigga's actually nah, crazy. Nah, crazy. Sure. I think the way he uses his voice. Is yeah, wild. that's what's so true, man, bro. bro. Like, you could compare his voice to, like, another instrument. The way he manipulates okay, is bro. crazy. Nah, I love Isaiah. We well, tapped into uh, Jace or... Yeah, Jace, I fuck with... Bro, Isaiah's the best, bro. Nah, I could I definitely did, see I that. I also prefer Isaiah, Isaiah over Jace. Yeah, I dig right Isaiah, bro. <laughs> yeah, he loves Isaiah. Bro, I'm jumping up and down, bro. Yeah, Shut up, you know what I'm saying? Bro. Now that, Deeply and Protected, those two are some of my favorites. What are your favorite uh, Isaiah tracks, if you can? Mm, There's a new song, bro, PSA. PSA, uh, haven't checked that out. You know, Dog, I'm in the living room and I see your dog. Now you're going to have to put me onto that. Bro, that's the greatest. Hannah's. Mm. Hannah's. Oh, no. Hannah's is fire. Yeah. Hannah's is fire. Yeah, there's a lot of I also like Green Green. Yeah. Green Green, green, green is, is crazy. Okay. Bro. I peeped, like, the whole Slay collective has a big influence on, like, our underground. Man, no Who care, are you, like, tapped into? Who are you messing with? Who are you working with? Whose music do you enjoy from our underground scene? Mm. There's someone I really fuck with, bro. Like, two artists that I really fuck with. Drop the names. Um, Don Earl. And Shout out Don Earl. Parker VS. <laughs> Parker VS is crazy. Yeah. I actually found him through Hard Rock on the 101. Yeah. On the Hard Yeah, on the archive. Yeah. <laughs> like, I heard the song, and I never even knew he was no- local, bro. I yeah. heard the song, I was like, who is this gent? Went and checked out some of his stuff, and then... When I looked at like his album art, then I realized when I'm looking at the number plates, I'm seeing GP. I'm like, oh shit, this man is here. Shout out Benji. Nah, shout crazy. out uh, Parker VS. Yeah, that's my that's my young nigga, bro. Yeah, yeah that's. Now we've been bro. tapped into Bloodcore over here. Shout out Bloodcore. Yeah. Shout out Joey Benji. been Junkie been playing that bro. one for us on repeat. <laughs> yeah. Bro, you need to check out Don Earl. Nah, I had yeah, to quote Don him. Earl's I even uh, are you have you hopped on Threads? Yeah, like. Two days ago. Yeah, you just hopped on. Yeah, just hopped on. Nah, shout out. Because I know you quite... Um, what's the word? I'm losing my words. you active on Twitter. So uh, are you going to... Are we going to see the same from Threads? I'm not active on Twitter. I won't lie, bro. I see you liking a lot of stuff. Really? Yeah. Uh, I peep you actually liked one of my boys' stuff. Shout out Genji. He makes music as well. It's more alternative mm-hmm. stuff. But he said, Jake Katana's like the perfect ignorant trap music you want to oh, blast. Oh, yeah. I saw, I saw that, you like bro. that shit. Yeah. That's true, though. The thing yeah. is, something I've noticed about your stuff is, it's kind of like Cardi, where, like, stop breathing, where you're like, I'm smoking on henchmen, and you don't know, this man is, like, dissing niggas. Like, yeah. if you li- you say saying shit, though, that's what I'm trying mm. to say. Like, you say things, I it's more so than just, like, you can actually, st- there's a story, that's what mm. I'm trying to say. Yeah. Every uh, song. Every, bro, every, every single song that I make, bro, like, 
like the other songs, bro, there's like a story behind it or like an emotion behind it, bro. Yeah, there's something fueling it. You know, like the stuff I don't drop, bro, I think it's mid because like, it's like I'm just making music. But like, if my shawty breaks my heart, bro, that's when the craziest music comes out, bro. For real? Yeah. It's, that's kind of like a bit destructive or I don't want you going through that type of thing, though. No, I'm Unless you're good saying, with it. bro, you know. If something happens, that's like when I make the best music. Bro. Oh, yeah. You know? So, yeah. Like, the world is yours, bro. Like, we had three tapes, bro. Like, yeah. We had three tapes, like, ready to drop. And we were like, nah. Let's just make an album, bro. Put these songs together. But then, we really, like, re-recorded everything, bro. Like, we made new songs. So, it's like, I made the album in... A month, bro. Yeah. Shucks, that's quick. But yeah. it took like six months, no? Yeah, because we, we didn't know like what we really wanted yeah. to do. A peep bro. in one of your other interviews, you said you wanted to take it slower. So I see that uh, as a talking, drugs talking. Yeah. That, that track, you could really see that. I could see that push for you where you were trying to go that way. Yeah. Mm. Even on the outro, bro. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Who's speaking on the outro, by the way? Mm. Oh, it's the gen that gives you he gives you advice. It says keep God in your life. Oh no, that's the interlude you speaking. Oh about. yeah, yeah, my that's bad, my bad. that's um, little eighty eight, um, Ken Carson's producer. Bro. Shout out, yeah. you tapped into Ken Carson as well. Yeah, I fuck with Ken. Bro. Nah, shout out. We could yeah. talk more about that later. I also wanted to get into Blackie because he's on the album as well, right? Yeah. Uh, could you talk about your relationship there? How you guys linked up? Mm, Blackie, like, he was really he's really like my favorite SA artist. Oh yeah, like. Rapping. Nah, he go, he's going crazy. Yeah. And he's also hella versatile. Yeah, yeah. Is that a, something that you're trying to almost learn from him? Yeah. That's, that's like way I get. Like, he's the reason why I'm trying to be versatile, bro. Because, like, he can do on my piano. He can do literally whatever he wants to do, bro, you know? Like, he's really that nigga. Yeah. You feel me? Do you see yourself like, on I'm a piano? Who Maybe not. Ask that quick, <laughs> not that far. Nah. Not that versatile. Never, bro. I mean, I've made out my piano song, bro. Like, Just experimenting, playing around. Yeah. How'd that like, come out? Shut up, I don't lie. Hey, Stop. maybe you should drop it, bro. Stop, bro. Shut up. <laughs> shut up. Those who know, no. Yeah, those who know. Nah, shout out. I also peep. You got some of your throwaways on your Jake Katana archive. Yeah. I bro. People really fuck with the song that I dropped, Blood Diamonds. Yeah, no, nah, that shit is crazy. Kyle, bro, you said that song is ass, but like, really, everyone, they're like, that song is ass. I'm like, yo, ah, right, bro, I'm gonna just drop it on my archive. When I drop it on my archive, but that song is going so crazy, bro. Nah, shout out. Then what happened after? I came to you and I was like, why the fuck did you drop that song? Bro. And he was like, because you didn't fuck with it. I was like, there's no way. Nobody knows that tape actually charted, bro. Is it? Yeah. Nah, shout out. Number 37. Yeah. Song, yeah. Oh, check out the Jacob Tonner archive tape. Yeah. Also, wild as hell. Some of the lyrics there is crazy. <laughs> Had me double taken. <laughs> <laughs> but I think you've built that kind of reputation. It's almost like that mm. punk influence. Yeah. Yeah, yeah nah, I mm. can see that. Talk about what you got on today. Like, what's the fashion saying? I know mm. you always come kitted up. Oh, mm. Balenci slides, Balenci Sheesh. jeans. This is this is like the merch I'ma drop, bro. Yeah, that new merch on the. That's way. like the tape songs on the back. Shout out. Uh, what is it? This is a only vitamins T. Shout out Vimon. Shout out Denma Vasali. Yeah. Are you tapped into like fashion, like the shows? Cause I'll be. Who, who are some of your favorite designers besides oh. Rick and the ones that you've mentioned? Besides Rick. Yeah. Well, if you wanna speak on Rick. Rick is really my favorite, but like <laughs> I really watch all these shows. Mm, Matthew Williams, bro. Matthew Williams. Yeah. Shout out Matthew Williams at Gavanchi. Matthew Williams. Mm, who else, bro? Yo, I really fuck with Pharrell, but that new LV collection. Oh, yeah, you messing yeah. with it. Shit's I cool. wasn't sure about it. I'm not. I fuck with it. I might need shit. to digest it a bit more, but I wasn't too sure about it. The Minecraft bro, type. Yo. You made a mi- yo, Minecraft bro. pants, bro. Yeah, <laughs> you messing you with it. Jake Katana. Jake Katana and Pharrell just, Williams. Bro, gotta get Jay the Minecraft Mine- pants. Minecraft pants, bro. Is, are you into it? Minecraft? Yeah. Nah, shut up. Bro, I mean, yo, when I was like in grade seven, I wanted yeah. to be 
like a gamer, you know. I told oh yeah, you did say. So like, bro, I was playing Minecraft, Five Nights at Freddy's, mm, like literally everything. I think bro. you have the audience for that though, like going into streaming on the side. No, nah, I don't. Think oh, you I'd do, ever, you, bro. you wouldn't want to do that because nah, I know Can Can's doing that type of thing yeah, now. Can Can, you doing that? Shout out Can Can. I like streaming. Nah, I saw Nasty C does that. He streams Call of Duty now. Yeah, like, I never man. knew that. Yeah, and that's also one of your early influences. Yeah, do you still listen to his stuff now? Uh, nah, now that is like it makes Not main, as often. mainstream music, bro. Oh, okay. I don't know for some reason I don't fuck with mainstream. Music. Yeah, I also like I to know. like stay tapped into the underground, so I don't really know what's going on there. But I try to stay like I'm trying to get more relevant in the local scene, like because mm. that's the type of stuff we wanna give a. Platform on here yeah. and like uplift that shit, bro. We want to take the shit global. Yeah, exactly, bro. I mess with uh, do you know Kirby Jean Raymond from PMOS? <clears throat> uh, that's fashion stuff, though. Mm-mm. I don't know. Are you into more like the Vermont type stuff? Uh, yeah. Are like you familiar I, with Martine Rose? Yeah. Martine Rose. Martine Rose is crazy. She like her style is very reminiscent of Denmark with the yeah. oversized. Like her silhouettes are crazy, and I Ooh. see that's something that you do as well. Demna, Demna's a goat. Nah, shout out Demna at Vema. I can't even say anything, bro. Demna's really him. A peep, you had to take it to the fashion. You had uh, Uncle Waffles for president. So 2024 elections, I see you running her marketing campaign for her. <laughs> yeah, I mean, bro, I love my girlfriend, but like, <laughs> <laughs> you'd some for Uncle Waffles. No, I just wanted to be the president, you know. Oh, okay, shout out. You believe That's in what, she, what yeah. she's pushing. Bro, imagine Uncle Waffles is the president, bro. That'll craziest the craziest shit, shit ever. ever bro. You. Nah, that that's a crazy track shit. as well from the album. Yeah, shout out, bro. I like that one in Back in Front as well. Back Pocket Girl Rack, Back in the Front. Yeah, shout out Swivel. We proud that, bro. Shout out. Yeah. Uh, do you listen to Uncle Waffles' music? Like, do you support her? <laughs> <laughs> Or you just like the motion that she's moving in? I mean, yeah. She dropped that song. Um, Bad and Bougie, duh. Bad and Bougie. Wasn't she on that song, bro? <laughs> <laughs> I don't play. I bro. wasn't as tapped in. Nah. Oh, you trolling? Yeah, he's just trolling. He's trolling. Uh, nah, bro. I don't listen to Uncle Waffle's music. Alright, uh, bad, bad, bad. Yeah. You just like the movement that she's... Yeah. Like what she's doing for the... Un- Uncle Waffle's... Like... I don't lie, I have respect for her, bro, because, like, what she's doing for, like, it's a music. Even if it's, like, I'm a piano, you know? Like, bro, she's still doing her thing. Rolling loud, bro. Yeah, no, nah, they basically, they're paving the way. Mm. Yeah. So, yeah. Uh, who's some of your favorite producers? From SA. Yeah. Um, New Tank. It's, like, a group, bro. New Tank Merc. Shout out New uh, Tank. New Tank. George. I'm going to need to tap in with them. Yeah, Alrighty, Fraser, London Thrasher. Um, well, uh, my boy Tabiso. Mm. Shout out Tabiso once again. Yeah, but like, if they're not really prodding for me, bro, I proud for myself or Kyle does. Oh, shout out. Mm. So you can't do it, your own. Yeah. That's something that I think you need as an independent artist, like being able to do everything or have a team around you that can help you do everything that you need to do yeah. so you can compete. Mm. He's actually a dope producer. Oh, you reckon he's an underrated producer? Yeah. I mean, I proud a few songs on the tape, bro. Oh, yeah. which ones are those? Mm. Drugs Talking. Yeah. Drugs Talking. Oh, that's a slower joint. Yeah, nah, that was fine. Oh, uh, uh, what else? Mm. There's a few like he touched you. Yeah. Like he puts Touch his hands. He has yeah, his hands are on the work. Most of the songs. You're very act, like intro, active in the yeah, post production. Every single beat, bro. Like that, I hop on. Like I change it. In You've some done something way. to yeah. it. Yeah. You had to add your own flair. Yeah. Either I speed it up, reverse it, slow the beat down. You know, chop the beat up. Yeah. Do mm. something crazy. Mm. Nah, that's fine. Yeah. Are you? Tapped into TikTok or that's not nah. your type of scene. <laughs> uh, nah. uh, <laughs> my bad, gents. Um, is there anything that you'd like to speak on? I don't know, bro. 
Mm-hmm. Talk to me about some of the games you're messing with back in. Like video games. Yeah. Fortnite. I really fuck up Fortnite. Oh. God of War. Shout out, yo, God of War is crazy. The visuals there are crazy. Yo, God of mm. War is crazy. Since, yo, bro, I've been playing like PlayStation, Xbox since I was like three years old, bro. Do you and have like, a side that you prefer or you, you just play everything? Nah, not Xbox. I mean, my first console was <laughs> Xbox, but like, nah. But you see, when a controller. You're a PS4 boy or bro, PS5 boy. When a controller dies, you need to go to the store, buy batteries. Ah, come on, bro. PlayStation, I fuck with, bro. I had, Shout out. <laughs> I had like every single console, bro. PS, PS Go, PS Vita, PS2, Yo, 3. PS Vita was the one. Yo. That PSP. was the touchscreen PSP, nah. Yeah. Yeah. Yo. PSP was good as well. Like yeah. for like road trips and that type of stuff, yeah. if you on the move. But the PS Vita was a different level. Yeah, that was, that was crazy. With the selfie cam. Are you on the yeah. switch or not? <laughs> <laughs> Taking snaps. Yeah. Yeah. That's crazy. Were you, are you on the switch or not? Switch. Switch looks crazy. Yeah. I haven't uh, played. Oh, no, I actually have Mario Kart. Yeah. Five switch is crazy, bro. Switch like, is dope, yeah. I have a Switch, bro, but, like, it's really crazy. Yeah, nah. Like, also, bro, look so far. The shit you can do with a... No, bro. Nintendo is crazy, bro. Okay. Take it back to the personal life. I heard you mentioned you got a girl, so what's the relationship status looking like? I um, mean... Well, that's my wife, bro. You know? I love her, bro. Oh, that's sweet. <laughs> Hold some katana in the building. <laughs> yeah, bro, I love my girl, we need bro. the all oh, backtrack. <laughs> hey. Nah, don't be doing that. Uh, so you're a lover boy at heart? Yeah. Nah, I can see that kind of similar to like Reno and Lucky. Yeah. Same mm. type of thing. Are you guys tapped into Lucky? For sure. Oh, for sure. Yo, Lucky's the goat. Lucky and oh, the Tune's the goat. Yeah. <laughs> he Lucky. just dropped. Yeah, his album Friday. Lucky just dropped. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Sex, sex, money, drugs. Yeah. Mm. Now nah, that is sounding crazy. That's I shit love tune, bro. Uh, I was. I level. haven't listened. I've listened to it once, so mm. I still want to listen to it a couple bro, more that times. That album is next level, bro. You ready? Listen to Alright, I'm gonna go back and check oh. it out. I think I'll sleep on it. I'm still on uh, the one he dropped just before that. Flawless uh, like me. Flawless like me. Wow. Yo, he was going crazy on that one. Wow. Uh, so just to close off, can you do some promo for yourself? Whatever you got coming up next. Mm. Oh, the merch. I'm gonna drop the merch real soon. Hellraiser merch dropping soon. Yeah. Tour mm. ski. Yeah, the tour soon, bro. And like, I'm gonna throw the craziest mansion party ever. Ever, bro. yeah. I no, yeah. look forward to that. That's you know one thing, saying? like, bro, that's gonna be. Yeah. The craziest Another level. thing to ever happen. Yeah, we need country. the vamps to show out. Ever. Come we, through, show love. We're gonna have a jumping castle. Bro. Yeah. That's fine. At the mansion party. Teen yeah. uh, Project X type vibes. Yeah. yeah. Give, making me reminisce about Ken Carson right now. No. Yeah. Yeah. His Project X tape was crazy. No cap, bro. That was like really. I don't lie, bro. That kind of changed the underground too, bro. Yeah, Project X tape. Yeah, no, mm-hmm. definitely. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> uh, visuals. Mm. I peep the H visuals are crazy. Do you have any other visuals that we can expect? Maybe something from the album? Mm. I mean, I dropped... There's X- two from the album. Yeah, I dropped Ecstasy Vid. Oh, Peep the Ecstasy Vid. And I peeped the Waffles. freestyle for the Uncle Waffles yeah. where you did the yeah. tag. Um, that was hard. A Tesla X music video. Like, soon. Really soon. Probably like next two weeks or so. Yeah. Mm. I'm going to do a video for half and half, bro. Oh, yeah, that's gonna that's be crazy. the next video we're gonna yeah. show. No, I still can't believe you got that cleared because, yo, that is. Bro, that Katana is. got the motion. That bro. is not yeah. easy. Shout out, not. Yo. Definitely. Like, bro, the tape got pushed back like maybe eight times. <laughs> that song got removed. Ran Josie got removed. Like, yo. So, like, every time I said the tape's dropping this day, bro. They thought I was trolling, you know, like yeah, yeah, yeah. all the time. Like, like you were serious. Yeah, it was we actually, were actually serious. It was really gonna drop on the like maybe a day before songs are removed. I'm like, you fuck, bro. You now know? it's like it's a lie, but it's not actually. Yeah, a no, lie, you actually, bro. you know, one of those because yeah. <laughs> I know they said for uh, 
Lil Nosebleed, he they were saying that like he's a liar on I don't know if it was I think it was TikTok. Mm. These TikTok fans be calling yeah. like him a liar, but they don't realize all of the stuff that goes behind exactly. like releasing There's this type so of stuff. Shit, bro. Yeah, mm, like, bro, we're like dropping music on SoundCloud is easy, bro. But yeah. like when you drop something like you know it's serious, bro. Like an God, album, also. You know, typing each song's lyrics, bro. Like. That's just so tiring. Bro. Yeah, it's a lot of work. You know. Now, so that's where you gotta give big ups to the team behind you yeah. and everybody helping you out. Exactly, bro. Yeah, uh, shout what out can to we the expect team. musically mm. for you next? Next, bro. Like, yeah. I'm gonna be dropping like crazy songs throughout the year, bro. Mm, for now, I'm chilling, bro. Like the tape just dropped, you know. So like, busy, still busy with the rollout for that. Mm. Next year, we're trying to be at Rolling Loud. That would be crazy. Yeah. Um, Cotton Fist, next year, main stage. Bro. We have to. Yeah. R.I.P. Ricky Rick, and shout out Cotton Fest. Yeah. Festival's R. always R. crazy. Ricky, was it your yo. first one this year? Uh, mm-hmm. Earlier this year? Bro, what's crazy is this year's one was like the first time that I've been on the lineup. The one before, bro, you, like I had to hustle, like, we forced to perform, bro. Like, I literally performed for, like... Just 40, had to get your... 45 seconds, bro. Like, get out us off the stage, me and Sally, bro. You know? Shout out, Sally. Yeah, second Cotton Fest was kind of, like, weird, bro. Like, the time, you know? Like, we came late. But then, like, at the time, me and my homies, bro, like, we were, we were pushing still pain at Cotton Fest, bro. Like, when we left, it was crazy. So, but on drank. Yeah, like... We were selling, bro. Like, oh, you were selling? Yeah. Like, every rapper, I'm like, yo, bro, you stop, stop, stop waiting. Like, yeah, I got, you know what I'm saying? And we were like charging 80 bucks, bro. And like, so. I don't know the prices. I'm not yeah. too familiar. <laughs> it was like buying that shit, bro. So that's why we went this year, bro. You know? Because, I don't know, bro. Right now, Cotton Fest, they won't take us seriously, you know? Like, SA won't take us seriously, but that's why we're trying to build like our own shit. Yeah, do your own tour. Yeah, do, my, do our own shit, bro. Like create our own land. You know, mm-hmm. respect to the OGs, bro. But like, at some point, bro. You wanna do something like, new? Yeah. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Uh, can you give us a estimate on when the tour dates are? Mm. Like right now, I know kids are gonna be like, in exams, so like we might do it soon like super soon or after exams all right once the yeah. holiday rolls yeah. around all right now nah, for sure like the kids go crazy now nah, shout out to the fans is there a closing message that you want to give to the fans or shout out anybody ah, shout out to viso again shout out <laughs> to plow nah, shout out to viso he really loves you yeah i love you bro you know i'm gonna share i love you tonight i told you, you got wholesome katana <laughs> <laughs> uh and a message for the fans yeah, I love my fans. Uh, I'll stop lying, bro. Like, I'm gonna really drop this year. <laughs> yeah. You know? So, yeah. Deluxe on the way. Yeah, Keep on pushing the, the album. The world is yours. Deluxe coming on the way. This is Nice Boy Taco, the Vendor Man Katana, and his Signing big boy, off. his big bro Kai. Yeah, sure. All right, Space Academy, we out. <laughs> <laughs>